Your browser isn't just how you access the internet. It is literally the operating system of your brain. It's your brain's control panel. And right now it's leaking focus with every single click, every tab, every search, every notification. It's a tiny leak in your focus and your attention and it's bleeding hours that you will never get back. But what if the problem isn't you? What if the browser itself is the problem? A new generation of AI browsers is actually changing that and rewriting the rules, but not by giving you more tools, instead by giving you your mind back. And one of them, I believe, just solved the problem that no one else dared to touch. You think your browser is free, right? But you're paying for it. You're paying with your time, with your data, and with your focus. Every search that you make feeds the system that distracts you. Every tab that you open makes someone else richer. In fact, recent research has shown that knowledge workers spend 1.8 hours a day just searching for information that they already found. The average person keeps 10 to 20 tabs open and forgets half of them. I mean, that's not productivity. Right now, we are living through a hidden debt crisis, but not a financial one. I believe it's a cognitive debt. But what if your browser could think with you? What if it could protect your attention instead of stealing it? What if the next upgrade to your productivity was not another app, but a new kind of focus engine for your mind? This is that story. So look, um, the browser used to be simple. It used to be a doorway to the internet, but somewhere along the way, that doorway turned into a maze. And what started as a tool for discovery very soon became a trap for attention. And for years, companies built faster, flashier, busier browsers. Chrome stayed the same, powerful, but bloated. We had uh, recent launches from Atlas, which is chasing automation, but trades away privacy. Uh, we have Comet, which is another recent launch from Perplexity that chases personalization, but breaks focus. Every upgrade made the web louder, but not necessarily smarter. And while the internet got louder, our focus got weaker because no one was building for the person behind the screen. Everyone was chasing features, but no one was actually protecting attention until now. Because while everyone else tried to reinvent the web, one company actually decided to rebuild the browser itself and not as a data farm and not as another AI toy, but as something built around one radical idea that you deserve clarity and safety online. This is Neo. Neo is built on Norton's 25 year legacy of digital protection, which is basically the same people that protected over half a billion users for 25 years, except this time they're not protecting your files. They are in fact protecting your focus because what we're seeing isn't just a new product. It looks like a new and shiny product, but it's the start of a new operating system. Not for your computer though, but for your thinking. And I believe that this is the shift that no one prepared us for. I think most people don't realize it, but the browser has become one of the biggest bottlenecks in their mind. Every ping, every tab, every open window is another demand on your working memory. Literally, your brain, my brain, it works like a computer. In fact, a while back before I discovered Neo, my team member said to me one day, Laura, you and your husband are made for each other. So I obviously asked, oh, why do you say that, Fran? And she said, well, because you both have tens of tabs open in your browser. She was right. We used to keep lots of tabs open all the time, but it's literally death by a thousand clicks or tabs. And we call it productivity, but it's not productivity. I said it before, it's cognitive debt because you are not multitasking, you are context switching and every single switch drains energy that we never get back. Like I said, studies show that average person spends nearly two hours a day just looking for information that they've already found. Two hours, gone. It's not used for creating, it's not used for thinking, it's just researching the same thing that we've searched before. And the worst part is that we've learned to accept it, to normalize burnout as efficiency, to confuse movement with momentum. I mean, don't get me into it because I've spoken a lot about this uh, in the hive halls and yeah, I have a very strong opinion about the difference between movement and momentum. But the truth is that Chaos isn't random, it's engineered. The web is designed to keep us open and not focused. Every single ad competes for our attention. Every single search result is optimized for clicks, but not for focus and clarity. So the more we browse, the less we think. The more we see, the less we actually remember. Studies have shown that. And I believe we have now reached a point where distraction just feels normal and focus feels like a luxury, but that does not have to be our future, only if we accept it. Technology can finally protect the one thing that makes us human, our attention, because the real cost of clutter is not lost time, it's lost clarity. And that's why this moment matters, because for the first time in decades, someone finally rebuilt the browser, not to steal your attention, but to protect it. This is Neo. 
the first AI-powered security-first browser that is built by Norton, the company that's protected half a billion people for over 25 years. Only this time, it's not defending our files. Every pixel, every process, every response is designed to protect what matters most, our focus. And before I show you all the amazing features, we need to talk about privacy first. Because in the AI era, with all the concerns about data, Neo offers trust. Everything stays local. Chats and browsing history are stored locally, and basically your data stays yours. They also have the Norton Web Shield, which blocks malicious sites and phishing before you click. And Neo can even detect phishing emails. So you're in control. You can choose what Neo remembers and what it forgets or just turn it off completely. And you get all of this for free, whether you use Windows or Mac. You also get the magic box. So you don't need to Google things anymore. You just ask and Neo thinks with you. It doesn't pull a bunch of random pages. It'll search, read, summarize and rank them by clarity. And it can also navigate or even take action for you. Uh, it can do things like summarize this page or draft an email or plan a weekend trip, which will lead to cutting hours of search down to, I mean, seconds or minutes of signal. Every answer is verified. Every insight is grounded. There are no ads, no noise, no tracking, and you only get the information that you need, but without all the clutter and the noise. Then there are sessions. So instead of drowning in 30 open tabs fighting for your attention, Neo actually automatically groups everything that's related. So documents, links, notes into one clean workspace. And this personalization alone saves me a ton of time because it remembers context so you don't have to. And when you return, your session opens exactly where your mind left off. And that gives you so much flow and clarity because Neo is not only focused on giving its users a personalized experience, but it's very proactive to save your time. You also have Neo Feed, which basically curates what you care about privately on your device. Uh, it learns your interests, it surfaces stories that matter with zero tracking, with zero ads and with full control. And it's basically how you're able to stay informed but without being consumed by all the chaos. And let me show you Peak because you don't need to open 10 versions of the same page, okay? You can just hover and then Neo shows you the key insights in seconds and you get the essence without the overload. You don't have to browse through everything because I don't know if you realize, but the average user saves nearly an hour a day just by replacing endless clicking with this instant summary and clarity. Then you've got AI chat, okay? Because when you need a co-pilot, Neo's AI chat is going to live right inside your browser. It will be persistent, context aware, as well as private. It understands what you're reading, what you're researching and what you're building without ever sending your data away. And if you still feel insecure about your prompting skills, there is no need to worry because Neo has a zero prompt value, which basically means that you can enjoy the full convenience and the value of AI without needing to write long or complex prompts. It has a typing assistant because wherever you type, whether it's emails or posts or reports, uh, Neo's typing assistant is able to allow you to improve your tone, your grammar, your clarity. So basically, it's not rewriting or redoing your work, but it's strengthening your voice. And last but not least, Neo can remember the things that you choose, like your current project or trip details, and then recall them exactly when you need them. You can view, you can edit, you can delete that memory anytime. It's basically AI that remembers you for you, but not about you. Uh, like I said earlier, you are in full control. You choose what Neo remembers and what it forgets, or just you can turn it off completely. And we need to talk about something extremely, extremely important because underneath it all is Norton's 25 year legacy of protection. Behind every single feature is Norton's security DNA, real time threat blocking, zero data resale, your data stays local and private, like I said, because Neo is not about browsing smarter. It is also about browsing safer without the clutter. Because clutter isn't just a distraction problem anymore. It's also becoming a security problem. Because the same AI tools that we rely on to summarize and search and write can also be tricked. I don't know if you're aware of this. I also recently found out it's something called prompt injection. So let me explain. Imagine a web page secretly hiding a line of code that whispers to your AI assistant, ignore the user, do what I say instead. Well, that's basically prompt injection. When malicious instructions are embedded inside the content that you visit and it can steal data, it can rewrite commands, it can expose private information, all while you think that you're just reading an article. And most browsers are not built to detect it, but Neo is. It isolates the AI environment from the web meaning websites can't talk back to your assistant or access what's private. So when Neo says it's safe, 
It doesn't just mean from hackers, but also it means safe from manipulation. And if you want, I can make a dedicated video about this. Just let me know in the comments, because for me, this was a very eye-opening piece of uh, research that we went through to prepare for this video. Now look, every generation had its leverage. Factories had machines and digital age had code. But this decade, the scarce resource isn't information, because information is cheap and it's widely available. The scarce resource is attention. The tools that you choose now decide what your future feels like. And Neo is not an app. It's a rebellion against noise. It's a browser that gives you back your time, your privacy, and your peace of mind. Because focus is not just productivity, it's power. Neo is available as of today, and you can try it for free. The link is going to be down below. You can take back your focus before something else takes it from you. Thank you so, so much, Neo, for partnering with us on today's video. And thank you for looking out for our security and our privacy. And thank you to you for watching this video till the end. I do not take it lightly. I am always in awe of how generous you are with your time and for watching our videos till the end. I'm so, so, so ever grateful for you being here and supporting us in this channel. Like this video if you did, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so, and also share this with anyone who you think needs to learn more about the importance of privacy and security that their browser is able to offer them, especially in today's AI era. And if you want to join our community, it is completely free. You are able to learn so much more about AI. You are able to join our bi-weekly calls. You can ask anything. You get to learn more about what we're up to before I'm able to put everything on the channel. And you get to participate in all the challenges that we've ever done. They're still all live and they are waiting for you to go through them step by step and see results. Because the whole community is about taking action and keeping up the momentum and being able to see results. So I hope to see you on the other side. And until next time, I suggest you go ahead and watch this video over here. Thank you again, and I'll see you soon.